Ladies and gentlemen, Frank's Weather is letting us know that Invest 93L has developed into Tropical Depression number three, and the NHC will begin issuing advisories on the system at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, that's good, because I've been issuing advisories on this system for about eight days now. So anybody else who's joining the party, you are more than welcome. Nathan the Nerd is letting us know this is what we call worst case scenario. Is anyone getting Barry vibes? And we knocked Barry down to a super weak tropical storm last year. And when I say we, I mean at All-Star Asteroid Fight Club. I don't know if that's going to happen this year, though. Anyhow, we're definitely looking at a tropical storm anywhere to like a Category 3 hurricane here. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. But I've been advising everybody to be ready for a major hurricane around the 7th of June. And if you've been paying attention to the year, it has not been a fun year. So we've got reason to believe that June 2020 is going to give us a not fun hurricane season. This is the brand new 12Z King Euro model. And it shows us several things that can disturb us if disturbing is what we want to be. A, it looks like our hurricane tropical storm Cristo Ball is drunken on drugs and angry. He just wants to visit Texas and me, I guess. And so where this thing will go yet, nobody knows. I still think it's going to start to pull to the east, but I've been wrong before. I could be wrong again. And you see these dots over here? Those are more possible hurricane type thingies we got to worry about i've got a jedi sense that says we're going to have another hurricane a week after this hurricane and yeah i think it's going to crystal ball is going to be a hurricane it seemed like we used all of our good luck last year asterisk i mean so i'm just telling people be prepared because the models have been drawing this up as definitely a danger to people along the Gulf. And no matter what, I think this storm, regardless of its intensity, is going to be huge. The models continue to draw it up as huge, which means it's going to be a lot of rain for a lot of people and is always bringing extremely destructive rain to Central America. And so we are definitely watching this thing bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. And I'm watching it like a hawk. This has been my least favorite year as Planetary Defense Commander. And every single month, I do a fundraiser to raise money for all my bills, including rent. And so if you'd like to contribute, because this is exactly how I earn my living, you can send me a snail mail. And here's my address. I'll leave it in the information box below. You can make a contribution to PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. I've only got $1,300 left to raise in the next three days. And I know everybody's gotten hit hard. So I too am a little depressed and a little worried and feeling a dash of despair because the first five months of 2020 have been no fun. But I have faith in God and Jesus and we'll see how it goes. And this thing is supposed to circulate around the CAG, the Central American Yire. But if it pops out over land onto water sooner than expected, it could be in the Gulf sooner than people expect. So please be ready for that. Yeah, it's a wild year, man. And this definitely looks like a dangerous storm that is going to be major massive in size. How intense will it get? Who knows yet? I like this one because when it swishes around, it gives it like a disco effect. So you can make your own disco music in your mind if you want to. Do 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 boop boop. Models continue to take it into or near Texas or Louisiana. I still think it has room to go east, but definitely you are all on red alert if you're on the coast in the Gulf, especially Texas, Louisiana. For now, there is not a doubt in my mind that this thing is going to be major in size and rainfall. I mean, by the time it gets into the Gulf, starts pulling itself together, it's going to be probably about the size of the Gulf. So you can mark that down and that's what my prediction is. It's going to be about a Gulf-sized storm, what, regardless of its tropical storm or a hurricane. Remember, after depression comes tropical storm. So after it moves up one more notch, 
the only thing left is hurricanes. So I still think it's going to be about a Category 1, Category 2. Unless it starts to get really 2020 on us, then we could see Category 3. This is the water vapor loop. As you can see, we're dealing with a whole lot of wetness. And circulation. Things are starting to circulate, for sure. See, yeah, we're dealing with anywhere from southwest Texas to all the way over to the Florida nipple. I don't know what people call that. Yeah, I laughed. That is great news. Went from despair to laughter. I did my job for me. I'm still thinking category two, yeah, category one, maybe category three. Just watch it sit and spin and move north. That's what it's doing. But yeah, that thing. when that thing gets off the peninsula, it's going to be ready to play. And so it could go around the CAG once, but I think it's going to get out and go. But we shall see. But I'd definitely be prepared for a hurricane anywhere as soon as the 4th to as late as the 9th. Here we're looking at lower level water vapor. And you can see that it's just freaking going to be huge. And it's going to cause a lot of rain, a lot of flooding. When that thing gets out into the Gulf and begins to intensify, Either way, it's going to cause a lot of problems, and then it's probably going to have friends behind it. So this is Crystal Ball, and then comes Dolly. Hello, Dolly. This is the main one I like to watch. It is precipitable water, and if you will check over here, the pink means three inches of rain, like in a short span. So that is just an incredible amount of moisture everyone in the gulf should be monitoring and these they're getting flooded out major style absolutely without a doubt it, uh, human lost lives are being lost just is it just rain over rain on the same area and then this will band up and you can already see rain coming into texas and so everybody get ready june it's probably going to be wilder than May. Are you ready for that? Hope so. And will Thor News survive? I don't know. Things are crazy, man. You know, it's like Game of Thrones. But if you would like to do what you can to help me survive and keep Thor News up and running with a place to live and lights on, you can make a contribution. Snail mail, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. Got 1306 to go. And every contribution I get, it gives me like a boost of energy. Like maybe I will make it. Maybe we will make it. Although overall I'm an optimistic guy. Today's energy seems heavy. But I got to say an extra special thank you to Astro Fight Club. And thanks for your contributions. Patricia, Paula, Trisha, Matthew, Mary, Rachel, Tawny, Jenny, Mitch, David, the Shermanator, Freddy, Bizitis, Jose, Super Duper Jess, and Ciceri. Y'all are amazing, and I will continue to bring you all the information I can, as long as I have a place to stay, and electricity, and hackers not kicking me in the balls. Peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool. We will make it through this, but it's going to be a rough year, and I'm, I fear we are definitely going to lose more people, and the virus isn't over, whatever. Okay, peace out.